I did light like uh, my, my screen cast number 34 and 35 even though older screen cast has a possibility uh, I have a angular based webgs applications uh, angular based everything uh, there there you can look for the my channels and there is a many example web applications uh, how can you integrate those different type of vector data into the your, your web maps uh, web gis uh, functionalities so let's see and then this is another applications uh, i developed my 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 when i was students and that's that's why there's a possibility to build uh, the the to store the your your geometry like point line geometry even though you can store the polygon geometry i, I didn't finish it yet but you can store the uh, you can do the crude operation like you can create the points geometry you can create like create the line geometry even though you can update the geometry and then you can delete the geometry based on and even though you have a database connections with the mysql or, or postgresql and then you have a file import that means you your geometry object that you created here you can export these files and then after that then you can import this file and build the geometry and see that this, this is the most one of the most important uh, uh, object programming a uh, gis programming based on java and then java swing technology the ui technology so it was the based on the both side based on the post post gis and the sql light with the sql uh, sql spatial light uh, extension for the geo functionalities i will i will show you detail of these two, two projects i mean that this is the one of the projects that's the uh, based on the completely geo geo tools geo libraries and then this is another projects like this is the completely based on the as parts partially geo tools not too much there but it completely based on the java that means in the best uh, in the backend server you can store this object geometry into the sql light databases for the older the last one was the postgis uh, databases you can store there so that means there is a two more projects so one projects for the completely based on the uh, geo tools and then this is the project is partially geo tool plus the, the completely java and the sql light and then the tools for the jdl for the for other uh, other geo functionality like you can build the control you can image the tiling the image and this i will show you detail when i start the development i i have it development maybe this after the my presentation part i will i will i'll start the recording the development part by part by part one by one you can you can go there and then after that i will put it my source code into the my big uh, uh, big big github and then you can we can you can take it as open source uh, software tools you can download it and integrate the, the source code into the your developments so you see that i talk this the, the little bit and you need to talk this the theoretical background so you have a you everybody knows maybe the web map servers i have a many examples like geo server into the, my channels that go there there is a possibility a map server and geo server and the map link and map guide open so this is all the map uh, web map servers and then you can integrate this server into the your web applications and then build the europe web application and do the UGO functionalities if you go to the down level that is spatial spatial database management system that's i said the last times the then if you have a relational database it doesn't matter is a sql based database or non sql based database that's non sql based as i know this is the non sql but the sql light is non sql based database there is extension like spatial light and then sql based database postgis postgis sqls and there is extension ports gis so that means uh, there is there the if the, uh, the oracle has a oracle spatial the extension that means when the spatial means uh, you have a relational part in the into the your database and then you need to do the your geo functionalities in the in the spatial part or a spatial extension that 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 you need to understand clearly what's the relational database and what's the spatial database so there is many uh, sql databases there is no extension for the spatial extension for geo functionalities that's why but in, this is the most one of the most popular uh, uh, spatial and SQL 
uh, uh, SQL and the spatial extension for the database uh, for many many uh, enterprise level applications many many enterprise level application I mean post G post keys SQL and post GIS that's why I'm really interested to do the some that's why I did the, this uh, demo application or based on the post keys and post GIS and other demo application demo software tools for the you know, for, based on the SQL light and the uh, spatial SQL spatial extension these the things so if you go to the that's the most important part that's if you are the java programmer then you are looking for such the things that uh, that's i mean here the software development frameworks and libraries and web applications you see the uh, that's i already talk about that one details and there is many many example uh, in my channels you can look for that one the open layers is a javascript and uh, js libraries you can very quickly quickly call the your you 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 map services and then from from geo server or map server or map link or doesn't matter where and even though you independently call the the open street maps and google maps and build your geo functionalities that's what i mean there's a leaflet another really most popular javascript library you can call the those library javascript library and build your maps and the web maps in the based on that one so this is the most one of the most important part the for the developer or for the GIS software developer or GIS software engineers. So you need some software development frameworks and libraries. You see the Geo tool. This is one of the tools, and I am trying to use it here with Java and build the GIS software. It doesn't matter because you know. I think you everybody knows that the Geo tools is uh, is 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 a, is a library or frameworks is integrated with the Geo server. So Geo server. As written top of the geo tools libraries uh, or frameworks that's the most important really 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 popular um, application or the maps so a map web map server applications you can you can you can integrate your geo or, or your spatial data sets into the geo server both gis database and call this and build the necessary server wms or wfs services and the all those services into the your 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 client side means I mean the your open layer JavaScript library side or, or your deployed side or even doing the web page you can call those uh, those services into directly uh, directly into the your web pages and build your geo functionality. There is a many many example in my in my channels and look for that one. The second one you see the digital or o, OGR. This is the third library is is written by C basically c and then c plus plus later a little bit later and now there is a versions in java so i will show you how it, you can integrate and how can you go there to to build the, the those those things together and build that to start the your 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 soft uh, software development career like where and how can you start the those those things together so we see that the really, really, really pictures like GeoTools and Java Toolkit. There's a many example. You can download the libraries, and then, and then, then you can look for the the available tools, and they have a quick start. That's I I got a lot of source code from there, and then let's have a let's have. A so if you see the here the pictures like. You have a geo tools picture the library the you know, web page geo tools org you have a, a lot of quick start uh, there's a many example like uh, you know, the possibility from the different ide at least ide netbin netbin ide and then tell you ide maybe maybe quick start and java 11 quick start that's the possible lot of examples you can look close look that once and then for for my case we are using here that clips for the, our development if you see the development here the, our please development and that i mean this is on my source code the three projects i will go you will look for detail for each of the part of the my project developments so so this is the the quick start there's a many examples you can read it you need to install the your java first doesn't matter in at least the java 8 or, or upper versions and then you, you put it your all necessary dependencies into the your projects that look like here your reference projects a reference libraries in here so all 